Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Charlie. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my homemade New Orleans frozen cups, and this is how they look here. Now, it also goes by other names like Huckabuck, Iceberg, Freeze Cup. Me personally, I prefer to call it frozen cups, okay? Now, a Huckabuck is basically a popular homemade frozen treat that is made down in New Orleans. And uh, it's basically uh, any type of uh, liquid that has been flavored with Kool-Aid or any type of flavored syrup. And of course, it's sweetened as well. And it's placed in these uh, plastic cups. Some people use styrofoam as well, or even paper cups, and it's just frozen. Um, this recipe makes about 12 individual frozen cups, or more depending on the size cup, because these cups are about um, 16 ounces total, now the ones that they had back in the 90s was at least about 8 to 10 ounces. So you can make more depending on the size cup that you are using, okay? And you can also adjust the recipe to where um, you can make more or less, okay? And lastly, absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what y'all gonna need to make y'all frozen cups. Let's get started. You will need some plastic cups, and this is about 16 fluid ounces total. And along with that, you're gonna need some water. You're gonna need plenty of it, about three and a half quarts of it to be exact. And you will need lots of sugar, all right? And lastly, you will need a variety pack of Kool-Aid, about six different flavors and colors to be exact, all right? Now right here, you're gonna need one pack of Tropical Punch, which is my absolute favorite. One pack of Mixed Berry. Now the flavor that they had back in the 90s was bubblegum. All the blue uh, frozen cups that I had was bubblegum. The flavor was bubblegum. Um, lemonade. Uh, if, if you can find the pineapple version of this Kool-Aid, get it, all right? Orange. Grape, my least favorite, of course. And green apple. Now all the green uh, frozen cups that I had, the flavor was spearmint. Okay, so which uh, um, which goes to show that a lot of people weren't really using Kool-Aid. Some people, I believe, some people was using flavor syrups and all that other stuff. Yeah. And for your tools, you will need an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. And there you go. All right, y'all. Let's get straight to it. So in a large pot, because my pitcher is not big enough. So in this large pot, we're gonna add four quarts of water. And to that, we're gonna add three cups of sugar. Now that's just about the whole bag, but hey. Now we're gonna give it a quick stir. And we're just going to stir this until that sugar has dissolved into the water, okay? Now the water that I added in here is uh, hot. I like to uh, make my uh, frozen cups with hot water because it helps with the dissolving of the sugar in the water, okay? And that's just about it right there, all right? Now at this time, if you're using all of the same, if you want to make it all one flavor, you just add about three to four packets of whatever kind of flavor Kool-Aid you want and just give it a quick stir and voila, okay? But since I'm making multiple uh, flavors of frozen cups here, we're gonna uh, be using something different, okay? All right, so in our medium-sized bowl, we're going to add 23 ounces. That's three and one half cups of our sweet water. Just gonna pour that in there. Just like that. And to that, one thing we gotta do now is add our Kool-Aid pack. And this is the Tropical Punch flavor. I'm gonna just dump that in there, of course. And I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Oh, that smells good. I didn't forgot how this smells. Oh, man. Oh, it smells good. Man, it's been so long since I had Kool-Aid. Man, I probably ain't had Kool-Aid since 
I don't know when. It's probably since been since the early 2000s. Now it is ready to be poured into our cups. So let's do that now. Let me just pour that in there. All right, so again, we're going to add 23 ounces, that's three and one half cups of our sweet water. And this time we're adding the uh, mixed berry uh, flavor, which is the color blue, of course. Just gonna dump that in there. Give it a quick stir. And now it is ready to be poured into our cups. Let's make sure it's even and don't have to be perfect. All right, here we have all our frozen cups filled and ready to go. Now, we place them inside 11 by 17 inch baking pan. Place these into your refrigerator overnight, which I'm gonna do. So into the freezer it goes. So you wanna be very careful with this. See, it makes transportation uh, much easier versus putting them in there just one at a time. All right, y'all, we've taken our uh, frozen cups out of the freezer and this is how they look when we're done. Ta-da! Yeah, just give you a quick demonstration of how one looks. And as you can see, that's a, uh, a nice glaze right there. That's from that, uh, that's from the sugar, of course. Yeah, and don't they look good? Just give y'all a preview. Yeah. Now you're gonna let these sit out for about five minutes before you serve them. So that way, um, they can just slightly melt on the outside. So that way you can flip them over. Here is the final presentation. Look at how beautiful and colorful that looks. And there y'all have it. New Orleans Frozen Cups, Huckabucks, made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes. Visit www.charlotteclickandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Now while I'm at it, I'm gonna show y'all how to eat a frozen cup. Now this, now this is really the only way to do it. You gotta have a plastic cup, of course, because the styrofoam, it just doesn't work. All right, so first thing I'll start off with is just press, just press along the side, just take your hands and just press it along the side and there it goes, it comes out. Now take your hand, flip it over, like that. Excuse the little mess here. And now, you can eat it. Flavor is on point. It's sweet. Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh man, I ain't had a fro I ain't eat a frozen cup since the nineties, man. Like really. Now, if you also don't want to eat that way, you could just take a spoon and eat it. Simple. Ooh, it's good. It's good. For real. I remember back then, man, we used to eat these for like 25 cents. I used to go to Wild Corner. Just about every everywhere in New Orleans, like almost every other house and every other block in the city sold frozen cups. Now today, I don't think it's really as, as prominent as it used to be, you know. I mean, I'm not a child anymore, but I'm just saying like, you know. Now some people ask, why do you flip the frozen cup over? Well, this is where all the sugar is, man. This is where all the flavor is. You know, I mean, you ain't get, you ain't getting nowhere by eating the bottom. You gotta eat. You gotta flip it over. That's where when the, when the frozen cup is in the freezer, all that sugar and all that flavor kind of settle to the bottom, and that's when that's when you want that's when you want to start. You can flip it over and start eating it from there. 
And there y'all have it. New Orleans frozen cups. Some people call it Hucklebucks, but no. Anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. Mm-hmm.